Hi, my name is Rose, and today's tutorial will cover how to make an endocast with the Wrap Solidify module in 3D Slicer. So endocasts are a representation of the endocranial space um, within a skull, so they can help researchers study the brain space when all that's left of an animal is its bones. So I've already loaded our volume into Slicer, which you can see in the different perspectives below. We're going to be using a primate skull today, and we want to navigate to the Segment Editor module. So we can either do that by clicking that hotkey or using your drop down menu and going to Segment Editor. Once you're in the Segment Editor module, we'll click Add and rename our segment by double clicking and changing it to Skull. So first thing we need to do is set a threshold for the material from our volume that we want to put into that segment Skull. So if you're dealing with something with really thin bones, I'd suggest zooming up so that you can move that sliding bar and make sure that you're capturing those thin bones when you set your threshold. So right now you're choosing what material to add into that segment, and then you click Apply. So we can visualize what we just created by going to the Show 3D button, which will bring it into the 3D space. And if we click that target symbol, it will center our module in 3D space, and we can just zoom up. So today, as we're making an endocast, we'll first make it uh, do a little troubleshooting and then complete the project. So we're going to go to the Wrap Solidify module, scroll down, and the se settings you want to use are Largest Cavity, Split Cavities, and then down in our Output section, we'll click New Segment. Because you don't want to overwrite the skull segment we just created, you want to end up with two separate segments, the skull and the endocast. And there are your advanced settings, but for now, we'll just close those and click Apply. And this can take some time depending on the quality of your volume, the resolution. So um, you can track that progress in the lower left-hand corner and see what step it's on in the whole process. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to speed up until the endocast appears. And for reference, this took about 10 minutes. So our endocast has appeared, and as you can see, it didn't completely fill the cranium. So I wanted to include this so that we can troubleshoot together. So first off, I'm just going to turn off the visibility of the skull model, so I can just see the model we just created of the endocast. So if I rotate it in 3D space, you can see that data that's missing in the bottom of our model. And if you scroll through the slices, you can also see that empty space that wasn't captured by the program. So we can quickly uh, fix this by just segmenting our skull model a little further, and then we'll run the Wrap Solidify program again. So I'm going to rename our endocast attempt, and we'll now navigate back to our skull model. I make sure that I've selected the green skull model so I won't be editing the endocast attempt. And now we're just going to do some quick segmentation. So it can be helpful to navigate to that 3D only window so that you can do segmentation more easily. So I'm going to be using the scissor tool, making sure it's set to erase inside. And I'm erasing all the vertebra up to the frame and magnum, because basically what we're going to try to do with all this segmentation, where here I'll try and take away uh, the mandible, everything up to the cranial base, is I'm trying to isolate the neurocranium, the vault, so that we are helping the program out as much as possible by erasing all this unnecessary information that we don't need in this model anyway. Um, so here I use another function, or another module, excuse me, called islands, where I'm removing small islands that are floating around. I'm going to switch back to the conventional mode and again use the scissor tool to just cut out everything below the neurocranium. So the information we want is in the endocast in the neurocranium and everything else is unnecessary to make the endocast. So I get rid of that and I can move the skull that we've now created in 3D space and see I haven't accidentally uh, cropped out too much, cut out too much, so I didn't accidentally cut a hole in the model that the program would then think that it needs to um, assess. So now next time we run Wrap Solidify, basically what we've done is help the program to not get distracted by other information, the um, orbital cavities, the nasal cavities, um, any paranasal sinuses. So now that we've segmented the vault away, 
we're going to run the wrap solidify program again. So I'm going to navigate to that module. Our settings are exactly the same. Largest cavity, split cavities, and new segment. And I'm going to click apply again. And the cleaning we just did won't always be necessary. I think it was just the vertebra in this model that uh, threw it off. So now, as you can see, uh, our new endocast, our second attempt, because we isolated that neurocranium, is, has filled the endocranial cavity and is cutting off at all the boundaries of those openings. So the program was able to um, see every sort of foramina, the foramen magnum, that was an opening and cut off our new endocast model at that point. So I can turn off the visibility of that skull model so we can see our new endocast. And we can also go through the slices and see it fills the whole cavity and it's stopping at each opening. So you might have to go through and clean up the model a little bit. For instance, with the frame and magnum, you can see it's a little irregular here um, because the program is just automatically cutting it off where it sees best. But depending on, you might have a protocol for your lab, um, you can go through to the widest opening point of the frame and magnum go to the scissors tool and just um, zoom up and draw a straight line from, say, the furthest ectocranial point. And here it's just warning me that I'm on my skull model and I need to be um, editing the endocast. And from the outside edges of the skull on both sides, you can just cut with the scissor tool so that it makes more of a clean line across the frame and magnum. But you could develop whatever protocol works for your lab and your project. And there we have a full endocast made from a primate skull in the wrap solidify module. So thank you so much to the 3D Slicer team who made this amazing software free for everyone to use. And if you're interested in more tutorials about Slicer and other programs, um, subscribe to the Daily Own Lab channel for uh, more tutorials just like this.